Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. I'm very excited about today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to use the new YouTube end card or annotation feature. So YouTube has released a new feature in the past month that allows you to display uh, like subscriber end cards and annotations on not just desktops, but mobile as well that are clickable. And that is an amazing feature and I can't wait to show you guys how to use it. So navigate to your channel, go on over to your video manager and then just locate a video that you want to edit the end screen is what they're calling it and click on the edit button underneath that specific video. And then once you're here, you're going to see a new tab at the top right in between audio and cards that says end screen and annotations. Click on that. It's not going to be the normal annotation and end card screen that you're used to. You're going to see that it takes you to the last 20 seconds of your video. Now you have to note that in order to use this feature, you can only place the elements that you can use on your end screen on the last 20 seconds. Now, if you go over to annotations, you can put annotations anywhere. But I highly recommend using the end screen, the new features, because uh, the best thing about it is you're going to be able to capture those clicks or taps from mobile devices like Android and iOS devices. So again, you can only do the last 20 seconds. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do. As you can see here, we have the add element button on the right hand screen. Now let's look at the different elements we can add. We can add a link to a video or a playlist. We can add a link to uh, subscribe to our channel. We can link to another channel to promote one of our other maybe sub channels or whatever it may be. And we can link to an approved website. Now, all of these are great in themselves, but let's take a look at one of them and see what they look like. Now, if we create a link to subscribe, it's it's going to look wonderful. It's not going to just give them a link to click. It's going to actually show your icon like you can see here, and it will allow the viewer to hover over your little icon for your YouTube channel. And again, this goes to show you how important it is to have a really good looking relevant uh, profile image for your YouTube channel. And then when they hover over that, they're going to be able to click anywhere inside this box and they can subscribe right here from within the video. And from what I've been seeing from my videos, as well as other people telling me when they're tracking this, it's bringing in even more subscribers than before because it's one or two less clicks than having to go back to your actual channel page. So not only can you add a subscribe link, but uh, Obviously, once you're done, get out of preview mode. You can preview what it's going to look like by clicking this little checkbox right here, and it will actually begin playing the video as well. So, so if you want to preview it, click the preview, and then unclick the preview, and it'll take you back to the editing mode. Now, you can leave these elements to play out for the whole 20 seconds uh, at the end of your video, or like regular annotations and cards, you can click and drag the gray bar at the left and right hand side of these elements, and then you can actually adjust the time length that they're going to show up on your video. So if you only want them to show up for 10 seconds, then just drag that to wherever 10 seconds is, and then that's how long it's going to be you know, shown for for your viewer. But I recommend, honestly, to let them play out for the full 20 seconds. That really isn't that long of a, a time amount, so don't worry about that. So let's take a look at the other elements. If you do a video or a playlist, this right here really surprised me. I love this feature. So for a video or a playlist, you can choose your most recent upload, so it will automatically feature the most recently uploaded video. This one's a really cool one, or best for viewers. So I'm not really sure what algorithm YouTube or Google is using to select a video, but like let's say this video here is about Facebook. It's a tutorial about Facebook. Whenever I selected this option here, and tested it out, it did link and show another video that was a tutorial about Facebook. So somehow or another, it's using keywords, title, description, whatever, and it's pulling from your pull of videos that you have uh, uploaded to your YouTube channel. And then obviously you can choose a video or a playlist yourself by going through here, selecting a recent video or, you know, typing in the direct URL for that specific video. And then whenever you do that, uh, let's say we choose this video here, create an element. Uh, it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and remove this element. So in order to remove an element, click on the little pencil icon next to the elements. You'll see them listed here. You can only do four at a time. Click the pencil icon and then click delete this element and then click the trash can and that will remove that specific element. As you can see here, it's going to show that video whenever it goes and it plays. I'm actually going to drag that so you can see it now. So if I go and play it in preview mode, you're going to see now that it shows the thumbnail and a really good looking uh, rectangular where they can go and click and go to that video directly from within one of your other videos. Again, 
if I were to talk more in depth of the benefits of this as a YouTuber, as a creator, I would tell you that there are tons of benefits because they're not having to go outside of your ecosystem. You're keeping them in your channel. That's very, very important. So that's going to be what it looks like for a video. If I go here, I can click on that and then click the trash can again to remove that element. Uh, going down the list here, you can promote other channels. I'm not really going to do that one. You can kind of see what that's going to look like, or you can link to an approved website. So I'm going to go ahead and link to my website, youtubecreatorshub.com. So create an element. And now, as you can see, when we go and preview this, it's going to actually look very nice and allows people to go and click on the little thumbnail to go directly to your website. Again, very beneficial as a YouTuber. The last thing that I want to show you guys is probably my favorite feature of this whole deal, and that's going to be the template feature. So if we go to use template right here above the video, you're going to see a whole bunch of templates that YouTube has provided to you guys to use for your end screens. Now, I like a lot of them, uh, but probably one of my favorites is going to be this guy here. One video, one subscribe, one link. So if I go here, I select this template, I click the select button, you'll have to go in and actually add a video add a subscribe link, whatever it may be. So if the, right here under the elements, click on the specific element. Uh, and then once you're there, you'll want to edit that element, choose a video and click save. That's going to add that. Go ahead and choose that there. Click edit element and then go for best for viewer and click save. Now, once we're ready, as you can see, if I preview this, it's going to give them a nice little link here to subscribe. It's going to give them a video to look at. So there's a ton of different things they can do to stay in my ecosystem as a YouTuber. So if you want to, you can utilize one of the many. I am surprised at how many they provide you with, but the many templates that YouTube provides you with. So there's one here with four videos, two videos. It's just really cool. Um, so I would highly recommend you guys go and check that out. I'm not sure about the bulk features yet. I use TubeBuddy to do a lot of bulk editing, uh, a lot of bulk features for my YouTube channel. And I'm sure TubeBuddy will be uh, updating with some features for this as well. So if you have any questions on how to use this new feature, put those in the comment section below. I have a ton of YouTube content. If you want to know more about my YouTube podcast, it's called YouTube Creator Sub. The links will be in the description as well. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.